two American League teams. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Oakland Athletics. This is 2K Sports. When he's on, he is almost unhittable. Eric Bedard will see if he's on for this game. With Kruk and Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. Hi, everybody. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. In Oakland, the Coliseum and the home of the A's. Starting will be Brent Anderson. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Well, a young left-hander that knows how to pitch. That's what you're going to see with Brett Anderson. He understands he needs to command his fastball because it's not overpowering and get to the point where he can use his secondary pitches. A quality breaking ball and an effective changeup make him a quality lefty on the mound. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzie Guillen's got going. So who are you looking at, John? It's Johnny Damon now. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. What a streak these guys are on. That's 10 in a row now. They are the team to beat. Here's the swing, hot shot. Streak continues. That gets in. Now's a good time to take a quick look at how the athletics shape up on the field with defense. Particular standouts here, Steve. But Ryan Sweeney's a guy that shows real leadership in the outfield. He can run balls down on the gap. He's just consistent, always getting a good read and making the routine play. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Career numbers, a 317 average off the eighth. Swing and a drive, deep left center. And Chris. That's one down. We hope you can't get enough baseball. There'll be more this Saturday. It's going to be the Red Sox on the road. They face the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. That will kick off at 1 p.m. Eastern. And here's Paul Canerco. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. Can't catch up with that one. 0 oh, 1. Well, you have to be ready for something hard, and this guy wasn't anticipating it. That's why he was late on that two seam fastball. And Kaderko's got himself a single. Uh, 0 1 mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. RBI opportunity right here for Carlos Quinton. First pitch curveball swung out of missed on one and he's back easily made a dive to get in. Here's the pitch. Anderson now has him 0 2. The best pitch in baseball is the fastball down and away and if you can execute it you can be very effective towards the middle and Quentin's got himself a base hit and here's Damon going to try to score. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in hits. And he's also leading the league in home runs. That power bat, that ability to hit it out of the ballpark. A major power threat every time he comes to the plate. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Here's the pitch. Slider too far inside. That'll back him away a little. Well, when you try to establish the inside part of the plate, sometimes you hit the batter and he gets his base. That time he doesn't hit him and he sends a miss. Swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. This one fielded. Davis. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. Now Quickly, let's check out the league leaders, leaders in runs batted in. Brought to you by State Farm. All of these guys have one thing in common. With the game on the line, with runners on base, they come through in the clutch and deliver and drive in the big runs. He got the bat on that one. Sweeney's there. And that's going to do it in this half inning. Well, they load the bases on the strength of three base hits, but no runs. And first chance coming up for the athlete. 
And doing the pitching, it'll be Eric Bedard. He's going to start for Chicago. Steve, what's he got on his mind now as he takes a look at Oakland today? Well, veteran left-hander Eric Bedard out on the mound. He's been hampered by injuries in recent past, but when he's healthy, he's productive. Quality, command of the fastball, outstanding breaking pitch, and a feel for the changeup. As a hitter, you have to be ready for all the different pitches. 1-0 pitch, a slider in there. 1-1. Well, he throws the breaking ball down and in for a strike right there. Even if the hitter puts it in play. Swung on, that is hit. And the leadoff fans on board. You love the offense when it gets going that way. Here's a look at the offense for the Athletics. Presented by Pepsi. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Mark Ellis is a guy that this team is going to be looking for some production today. He's been inconsistent throughout his career. Let's see if he can put something together and help his team get a win in this one. The throw and safe at second. No problem. Here's Bedard with a 1 0 pitch. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Quick look for this game, the White Sox, and how they are positioned in the field. So you keeping an eye on anyone? Joe Freedy has great reactions in the hot corner here. He gets great instincts to be able to move, glove the ball, and strong, accurate arm. Starts him up with a slide for a strike. Now this breaking ball down and in that goes to the back foot of the hitter is very difficult to hit. Very few guys are able to put that one in play. And Davis is home. Well, one run already across the board and nobody out. This has the potential of being a really big inning. Let's see if they can string some hits together. And Eric Chavez to bat. What we're seeing here is just a ground ball, Creedy. And that's a base hit. Chavez on. There's the throw. And Chris scores. Good pitch down low, Steve, but a better at bat. Well, he did a real nice job going down in the swing to get that low ball. Be able to pick up the hit. Bedard gets set and delivers. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Well, the hitter must have thought that was either going to go too far out of the zone or too high. He takes the pitch, but it's a strike. And Mark Ellis strikes out to call strike three. But good, great confidence right there in the stuff. Could have wasted a pitch right there, but he figured, why worry? It's a great job of finishing off the batter in a hurry. Never got a chance to see much. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. Well, he's got a good four-seam fastball with good riding action to it, but he finds the heart of the plate here. Unfortunately for the hitter, he didn't swing. And he's got it. And there's one. And the deuce, a double play. Early scoring, that's always a blessing. They get it going here. Oakland is leading two to nothing. It's going to be Krasinski. Fouled away. Swing and a shot to third. One away. Almost fell over when he got to that one. Boy, there's some upper body strength on that. You have to have great body control to play this game. He certainly sewed it there. And he got him. And it's Joe Creedy at the plate. One out, nobody on. Swinging and a miss, and he falls behind on the count on one. I drove in a couple runs in the ball game last night. And that one fouled off by Creedy. Here's the pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Designated hitter, number 20. And it's Jim Tomey in the box to come. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0 1. Anderson now has him 0 2. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter, swung late. Oh, for a ball to Tommy. 
Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Hit in the air to left center. And it gets down. The streak is on. And this rolls all the way to the wall. Safe at second. Tomey's heading for third. And not in time. He's safe. And he'll stop at third with a triple. Well, I was already to mark this down on the card as a double. Put another line in there. Well, he didn't let up at all, Gary. Great effort on his part. Took a chance, but he made it. Amazing thing is he was able to do it standing up. And it's Johnny Damon now. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. There's a swing towards the hole. And that's the half inning as Chavez makes the play. Well, that's a good inning from Brett Anderson. He's put in some effective pitching so far. Pennington's in the batter's box. Number 26, Brett Pennington. Bedard gets set and delivers. 0-1. Takes that one low and outside, 0-1. Line drive out of play down the right side. Fastball in there, called third strike, one up. Well, 92 miles per hour, you can get away with some mistakes, but it's nice to have some movement. It's going to be Barton. I looked locked in last night the way he swung the bat. Good stroke, good contact. See if he can't get it going again today to add those two hits from yesterday. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Down, down, down. It's all about location. That breaking ball down in the zone makes it very difficult on the hitter. Ground ball, Creedy. And he's up with it. That retires Barton. Now State Farm brings you the teams leading the way in extra base hits for the month. Number one, the White Sox. Blue Jays in second. In third, the Rangers. A's fourth. Number five, the Royals rounded out. Well, it's very difficult for one team over a few weeks to have so many extra base hits. But when you have two teams playing in the same game that have a slew of... Swing and a hot shot. Good defensive half inning there. No hits allowed. Oakland two, the White Sox number. Oakland Coliseum, beautiful evening. A little bit of a breeze, not too cool though. Alexi, and it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. One of the best batting averages in the league. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Ramirez will foul that one away. Pitch on the way. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Uh, if you're watching the ball game last night, you saw him pick up a couple of RBIs. Well hit towards the middle. And Ellis picks it up. And so Ramirez retired. First number 14. And here's Paul Canerco. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Here's the pitch. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. Sweeney's there. It's back towards the wall, and he still puts it away. This ball looked good coming off the bat. I thought it would carry a little bit further, but the right fielder able to keep a beat on it, roll back and put it away. And Quinton settles in. He's the league leader in hits. Hit hard on the ground to short. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. Quick half inning there. It's over five pitches. Athletics, they still enjoy this lead. Bob Guerin looking on. Last inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. Bedard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Watches that one for a called strike. Nothing and two. Well, they set up down and away. They throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. And it holds at 0-2. Big swing, misses on the changeup, struck him up and away. 
Center he pulled the string right there. Number Must have been three. looking for the fastball. Swings Chris. right through the changeup for strike three. Here's Chris. First look. Bedard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And it falls in there. That's going to be a single. Well, a little action going right now for this team. A single here with one out. A little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can bring him across. And Suzuki's in the box. Looking for his first career hit against Bedard. First pitch of fastball. That's in there for a strike. No balls. One strike. Here's Bedard. There's a swing. Fly ball down the line and left. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. The opportunity for offense is right now. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. And Gary, although they have a lead, it's still... And it's Eric Chavez now. One out with runners at first and second. Now Chavez gets set, headed for the middle, and he's got it now. Two men have been put away. Be sure to tune in again this Saturday. It'll be Alex Rodriguez and the New York Yankees. They'll be hosting the Boston Red Sox. Game time is 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 Pacific. Chance to drive in a run now, Mark Ellis. Last night a loss to the A's. Boom, they got a chance here to gain a base. Can't get him. The run scores on the error. Well, they pick up a run now with a little bit of help from the defense as they kick that one around, not able to make the play. Run scores. And Przinski calls for the pitch. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. That's in there. Should score the runner. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. Well, even though they lost the last game, he had two big hits, and that's a good sign if you're the manager of this team. But he's starting to swing the bat really well. Swung on, liner to right. And yet another hit there, seeing the ball well. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. A good fast speed against that fastball. Able to get that inside pitch, rotate his hips, and pull it through the hole for a base hit. Two men on and two men out. And the first pitch. Ground ball towards second. Beckham. Throw over to second base. A force to retire the side. Well, they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. A's on top by four. None other than Ozzie. That's Ozzie again. He's dealing with the prospect of an offense that uh, is unable to get any runs, and that's now been compounded by not a good performance on the mound, especially over the last three outs. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Drill towards the hole. And that's out number one stepping on the back. The lineup's crossing home the most. We look at our state farm leaderboard. Runs scored over the last ten. The White Sox number one, the Mariners in second, the Red Sox third, fourth the Jays, number five the Royals rounded out, and Alex Rios up, and uh, at the plate one of the tops and runs scored, top five. That's a strike and it's 0 and 2. Time for Rios now to protect. The pitch, look out! That one ran in and got him. I think it's safe to say, Gary, that's going to leave a mark. That hurts from here. That's going to bring up A.J. Krasinski. Look, Gary, we see that guy get hit with a pitch. I mean, sometimes, listen, as a pitcher, you just lose a grip on the ball. It doesn't come out of your hand the right way. You end up hitting somebody. This one fielded. Davis. That's two gone. Now coming to bat for the Chicago White Sox. And it's Joe Creedy now. 
go. 0 for 3. Lifetime off Brett Anderson. Here it comes. That one lofted in the air. Oh, a foul ball. Here's the pitch. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Greedy. He'll lean in on that zone now. Look, Gary's done a nice job working around the four hits he's given up here into the fourth. And that's about making pitches, and he's done an effective job when he's had to pitch out of the stretch. Brett Anderson, good work holding the offense down. And the Athletics coming up next. Leading off, Derek Clark. I look locked in last night the way he swung the bat. Good stroke, good contact. See if he can't get it going again today to add those two hits from yesterday. Freddy Garcia is going to be pitching. He's been chosen to take over out there. Gary, I tell you, I probably would have let this starter go a little bit longer. I mean, better safe than sorry, but why burn the bullpen this early in the game if you don't have to? Save them, keep them fresh. Back up the middle. And that's a base hit. Barton credited with it. That'll bring Ryan Sweetie up. Well, a good start to this inning, but let's see if the guys behind him, after he starts out this inning with the single, can follow up and finish this inning off with some runs. And he checks the swing there, but it's in there for a strike on one. No balls, one strike. Here's Garcia. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Ryan Sweeney now. Time to cut that swing back. Well, you have to be ready for something hard, and this guy wasn't anticipating it. That's why he was late on that two-seam fastball. And that's going to be a base hit for Sweeney. Oakland in a nice position here to capitalize. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0-2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a solid job. Davis into the batter's box. Leads the division and hits. Back to first. Not in time. One and two won't get it. Number three. The second baseman didn't have enough on that one to get that out. That was a close play. If he had gotten rid of the ball a little bit more quickly, he might have had it. Good hustle down the line. And Coco Crisp to that. Oh, so the direction here, Steve, for this lineup to stay in charge. Right now they are. Ground ball towards the second baseman. Over to second for one. Over to first, he is safe. Almost a double play, not quite enough time. Number eight. Well, they get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. And Suzuki's in the box. Look at the matchup, 246 against the White Sox. Here's a check swing, but a call strike, 0-1. Oh, and there goes Chris. Strike two! And he's in there at second base. Lined up the middle, and he gets it down. That's his third hit, three for three. The throw, and Chris scores. Well, he's having a heck of a day so far. It's his third hit of the game in this one. They just can't seem to find an answer for him. Two outs and a man on first. Now Chavez gets set. Called strike. Garcia got that one in. It's on one. Here's the delivery. Swung on, line softly towards right center. And yet another hit there, seeing the ball well. Now let's take a chance now to take a look at where well, the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in hit. Hard grounded a short, fielded by Ramirez. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. Oakland continuing their blowout. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crutt bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Jim Tomei to lead it off. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. A liner headed for the hole. That's one away. 
Now the teams that have been finding their way on base are State Farm leaderboard on base percentage for the last 10. Number one, the White Sox. The Mariners in second. Third, the Yankees. Fourth, the Jays. Number five, the Royals rounded out. And it's Johnny Damon right there in the top five in home runs. Here's the pitch. Anderson now has him 0-2. Well, the two-seamer has his timing way off. He swung and missed. Swung way too early. Swings, clobbers this one. Deep left center field. Goodbye, home run. They chip a run off that. Still down by five. Well, they were thinking they could try to run one by him 0-2, but it wasn't so easy, and they paid for it. You talk about wasting a pitch. It's probably a situation where or maybe you do that. Absolutely. I mean, you can't go right at them all the time. Stepping up to the plate. The well, this game's gotten away from Chicago, but at least they're getting a little bit of production right here, Ramirez. trying to build confidence for the next time around. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch, hit up the middle, and it's in there. That hitting streak continues. Oh, Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Number 14. Third in batting average. Third most in hits. And in the power numbers there as well. He's also ranked in the top five in home runs. So among the more elite power hitters in the league. And here's Paul Canerco. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Off the wall on a hop. Ramirez is headed for third. Fantastic chance here. Oh, he's having some right kind of fielder, offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of Carlos everything this team's Quinton. doing offensively. Carlos Quinton batting now. There's one down. He's in his fifth season. On the way. There is a swing and a liner. And it's through. Quinton brings him home. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Second baseman, number 15. A perfect second. situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. And Beckham's. There's a swing and a ball hit deep into right field. Still going. Goodbye. Home run good for three. I tell you, the pitching and defense have got to be nervous right now as the South Siders look locked in at the plate. They've almost caught them. And he starts Rios out. That's hit foul by Rios. Boy, you talk about big time homers, Steve. That was one right there, and then they're not done maybe in this inning. Well, you know what? You've got the pitcher rattled. This is the time to get him. You've got him on the ropes. Now's the time to capitalize. Hot shot towards the hole. And another hit. Oh, my. This clinic's just beginning. That's going to bring up A.J. Krasinski. Well, who's hot? Our State Farm leaderboard. We'll take a look. These are the hottest bats for the month. All of these guys, quality contact hitters. And, you know, when you're that kind of a hitter, it means that you can hit any kind of pitch the pitcher throws, and you're using the whole field. You're hitting it where it's pitched. And doing the pitching, and we Craig Breslow. As they make the pitching swap, one of the best batting averages in the league. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Get a little extra giddy up on that one as he You're just out. blows it right by. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. Well, he made that one look easy, huh? I mean, look at three pitches and a strikeout. And Joe Creedy in the box. A runner on first with two outs. First pitch to Creedy. This one's hit pretty well to right, but it's going to be out of play. Here's the delivery. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Greedy will lean in on that zone now. now. If you got a chance to watch the game last night, you saw he took advantage of getting a pitch and hitting it out of the ballpark. Got a pitch he could drive and took it deep. He was uh, able to ring up that K, and that's going to get him out of the inning. Not before they tally five times, thanks to two home runs in the inning. The White Sox are not going to concede this. They've made a pretty good chunk out of that lead. Looking to the lineup, six, seven, eight hitters. 
Kennedy at the plate. He singled his last trip. Number 29, Adam Kennedy. Garcia gets set and delivers. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. And it's fouled off. Oh. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. Pennington's in the batter's box. First pitch on the way. It's fouled away. Oh, Kennedy's going to steal. And he's in there at second base. Garcia gets set and delivers. You're out. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out one down. Here's the four seam fastball coming at you in K Camp. Get a better look. They just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the uh, timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the at bat. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. He fouled off that first pitch a one strike count. Hit sharply towards the hole. He's out at first base. Nice play on the cover. Uh, that's a well-executed play right there. Gary hustled over, got the first base, touched the bag. Thought he might have had a strike out there, but he's involved in the out anyway. And the first pitch. And Garcia gets him on the swinging first strike. Ground ball, Creedy. And he grabs this one. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Dugout shot there, Bob Guerin. And uh, this one run lead he's got, uh, will it be enough? We're going to see. And Jim Tomei to lead it off. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. Swings at that breaking ball but misses. It's 0-1. He delivers back up the middle. And it is through. The tying run is on. And that'll bring Johnny Damon to the plate. Great season, top ten in RBI. Runner on first. Suzuki setting up. That one's drilled to short. And there's one. Over to first and safe. Very close play. They will not get the double play. Closing in on the end of the season, let's take a look at the race in the Western Division. Brought to you by State Farm. First place, the Angels. The Mariners, second place. In third, the Rangers. And in the fourth spot, the A's. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses with that fastball. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by. Him. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. They drove in a couple runs in the ball game last night. Swing and a high drive. This could be trouble. Over the wall, a two-run home run. Uh, Gary looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. And what they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be now aggressive out there and go right after. The Chicago White Sox. Now, Gary, White Sox couldn't be happier right now. They've gotten the hits they needed. They've taken the lead. They're looking to add on more, hoping to end up winning this game. And through for a base hit. He's now three for four. Good day. Now look at the leaders in extra base hits, courtesy of State Farm. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Well, the guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far, and it comes with one out in the inning. Up the middle, and another hit. They're really gunning right now. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average, first in hits. 
And he's also leading the league in home runs. That power bat, that ability to hit it out of the ballpark, a major power threat every time he comes to the plate. The opportunity for offense is right now. As the Athletics decide to bring in a reliever. Can't cut it off. It's going to roll to the wall. And that's going to plate Alex Rios. Well, that's hit number 15 in that for that one. And boy, you get 15 hits in a game. The manager can just sit back and relax and watch his team work. And when you got the swung on and hit this one towards Chris Sweeney's there as he wheels over to put it away. Two of the league's best run producers. Let's take a look. Brought to you by State Farm. Well, these are the guys that make the most money because they're the ones who impact the game in a big way, drive it into critical runs that lead to a team's success. Now, showdown moment in this game right now, Gary, with A.J. Pruszynski coming to the plate. He loves these sorts of situations. We'll see if he can get it done right here. For his career, 254 against the A's. Put something off, and it swung on and missed. 0 and 1. A great changeup right there. You see how far out in front of it he is? And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Always good coming off a three-hit game the night before. And gives you some confidence coming into today's game. Well, that half inning uh, came to a close. A strikeout ended it. So they strike for two runs, and that gives them the lead. Davis into the batter. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. And here's the first one. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. Put away. Here's how the Central Division is shaping up late going. It's brought to you by State Farm. First place, the White Sox. In second place, it's the Royals. In third, the Indians. In the fourth spot, it's the Twins. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. A shot up the middle. And Ramirez feels the ball. And that'll set down Chris. Number eight. And Suzuki's in the box. And an RBI single his last time to the plate. Well, big production in this ball game. Already driving in a couple runs and a major factor in this offense. Two outs and nobody on. Garcia gets set and delivered. Swing, hot shot. And Freddy Garcia gets him three up, three down. And it Leading it off, Joe Creedy. It's swing and a miss time. Number 29, Joe Creedy. First pitch to Creedy. Right. Screwball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Now, hitters nowadays don't get to see too many of these screwballs. That clearly fooled him. He was way out in front. Towards center field, and Chris now takes care of that one. One away. And as Jim told me in the box now, Jim two for three thus far. Swings at that first delivery. Curveball by him on one. And that's a strike. Tomei's going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Fastball got him two down. He's up in the mid 90s now, so pretty good velocity, but not much break on it. It's Damon at the plate. He homered back in the fifth. And the first pitch. Swung on and hit. This one to Sweeney. And there's the third out. And they aren't able to get anything going in this. And here's Eric Chavez. He'll start the home half of the seventh. Number four, Eric Chavez. And he swings and hits this one foul. No balls, one strike. Here's Garcia. And that's a strike. Chavez was going to have to be very protective here. Well, I think right now, when you're up by a run. On the ground to first. Played by Canerco. And he'll step on first for out number one. Oh, Gary, he's pitching well right now. Well, that's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. Called strike. Garcia got that one in. It's 0 1. 
You know, Gary's still dealing with that one run differential. One out here in the seventh inning. And again, I think it's about making plays right now. Ground ball, Creedy. Retiring Ellis. Courtesy of State Farm. Here's a look at the American League wild card race. Getting close to the wire now. Yankees in first place. The Mariners, second place. Orioles, third place. Fourth place, the Royals. It's the Blue Jays in fifth. And down at the bottom, the Texas Rangers. What a great race we have with the American League wild card right now. And, you know, it's been interesting, but wild card teams have had great success in the postseason. In the Swing and a hot shot. Throws to first side is retired. No hits, nobody left on. And, and it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. He homered earlier in the ballgame. Alexei swinging the bat very well today and doing a little bit of everything. Driving in runs, hitting the ball out of the ballpark, having a good ball game. The pitch swings a little early that time, 0-1. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. He got that slider in the strike zone. He got the hitter out in front to swing early. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Swing and a miss. Three strikes and Alexei Ramirez is set down. We've got a second now to see the four-seam fastball in KK. Good job of keeping and guessing by changing speeds out there. And boy, John, you saw the effect of that. That swing, he wasn't even in the same time zone. But going from off speed to a heater like that is never easy. And even guys that make the big bucks have a hard time adjusting. And he starts Canerco out. Strike Takes one. a swing, but he's too late on that one. Strike one. Well, sometimes the pitcher's just better than the hitter. And on that particular pitch, he threw that breaking ball down the zone. He was better. So you just oh. tip your hat to him and hope you can get him again. Hit hard to second. And Ellis picks it up. And Canerco retired. And a look at who has the most long balls this month, courtesy of State Farm. Now some big time power hitters right here. Some guys that look to drive the ball out of the ballpark and swing hard in case they hit it. When they make contact, they can do some serious damage. First pitch to Quinton. Hot shot towards the hole. And out. Pitcher makes a nice play at first base. That was a nice play. Saw the opportunity at first. Didn't waste any time getting over. That's the key. Beat the runner to the back. And welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. Pennington's in the batter's box. Garcia gets set and delivers. Swung on, line softly, left side. And that's going to be a base hit. Time run is on. Well, anytime you can get on base with no outs to start an inning, you know that an extra base hit will probably score you. But even if the batter behind you can figure out a way to get on base, now you have the potential for a huge inning. Called strike. Garcia got that one in. It's 0-1. Well, you go to the eighth inning right here, and I've seen games getting much shorter here. Two innings left in this one. And you've got the one-run lead. But you have to go out there and try to get something going and force them to put the ball in play. Do not oh. get free passes. Do not let them get on base easily. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. Gets it. There's one. Now over to first and safe at first. Close play. Not quite enough time to get it. Number 16, Ryan Weenie. Well, when you check the box scores after this game, you're going to see where this ball scored a base hit. Wasn't hit well, not pretty, but he'll take it. Called well, strike, Garcia got that one in. It's on one. Well, I think for the pitcher's perspective, keep the ball down, keep it in the ballpark, and keep it out of the gap. Force them to hit singles and lump hits together. That swung on and grounded up the middle. And Sweeney is retired. Now we take a moment to look at the pitching staffs allowing the fewest free passes this month. Brought to you by State Farm. The White Sox number one. The Royals in second. The Red Sox third. The Tigers fourth. And the fifth best, the A's. You want to make the other team beat you. You don't want to beat yourself. And to do that, you have to throw strikes and limit the walk. And over the last month of the season, these two teams have been doing exactly that. 
And out on the mound, we've got Scott Linebrink. The White Sox turning to a reliever here. Uh, what do you think's on his mind here as he goes up against this Oakland lineup? Well, Scott Linebrink was one of the best middle relievers in all of baseball for the last oh. couple of years, but 2009 was a tough year for him. But let's see with his stuff if he can turn this thing around starting right now. Line Brink with the delivery. Hit hard on the ground to short. Ramirez, a nice play on that one. Throws on the first side is retired. So they pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score. The White Sox still ahead. Quick look at Ozzy Gian looking up. And nearing the end of this one. Tension still in the air. It's only a one run ball game. First pitch on the way. Swings and misses at the screwball. 0 and 1. In his career, 6 for 15 off the eighth. Strike two, Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Oh, he has some great arm motion right there. Had him way out in front of that. And that one swung on him, missed by Gordon Beckham. Well, a good, great confidence right there in his stuff. Could have wasted a pitch right there, but he figured, why worry? That's a great job of finishing off the batter in a hurry. Never got a chance to see much. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And it's off the wall in left center. Coming to bat. For the well, a good White job right there getting on base here with one away. Standing on second base. Now a single will score him. One out with a runner at second. And here's the first one. Swing and a miss for strike one. Oh, what a great curveball right there. You see how he fooled the hitter and got him way out in front. Here's the delivery. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he'll take it himself. Puts the tag on for the out. Coming to bat. Well, he gets man over to third base, but with two outs now, it doesn't help much, but at least 90 feet closer to scoring. Okay, here's an opportunity for Joe Creedy to come up big for his teammates and deliver in a big situation. Career numbers, 224 against the A's. Out in front on that one, strike one. The pitch. Couldn't pull the trigger in time. He's behind 0-2. Smash towards the middle. That's down. The run's coming in. You always want a cushion as you send your pitcher out to try to shut down the game. That hit delivers a run, and now it's a two-run game. I think they have the margin they need to hold on to victory. Now, Jim, tell me. So the direction here, Steve, for this lineup, just stay in charge. There's a swing. A ball hit high and deep. Straight away left field. Gone! A two-run homer. Coming in now, and he'll be the new pitcher. They've decided it was time to make a change here. White Sox lead expanded here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. First pitch on the way to Damon. First pitch, and he misses the fastball, strike one. You never get enough, but it certainly doesn't hurt to extend the lead like this. Now, stranger things. Here's a swing and a broken bat line drive. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. So they strike for three more runs here and widen that lead even further. The White Sox, four. There's the skipper, Bob Guerin. He's reflecting right now. Not uh, likely a lot of positive reflections, however, in this game. And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching. He's been chosen to take over out there. So, Steve, got to be conscious of key things. What are those things in this Oakland lineup? Well, you take a look at this big body guy and Bobby Jenks out on the mound right here, and you know it's a swing and a line at a right center. And that'll put Chris on it first. So Kurt Suzuki will come up. Well, anytime you can get a guy on base who can steal bases, it puts so much pressure on the opponent. Let's see if they can get him around to score a run. No one out and a runner on first. Here's the first pitch. Lined up the middle. Beckham able to pull that one in. 
Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground. And, and obviously they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining. So they've got to get something going and keep it going. And that's in there. Jenks ahead on one. Here's the pitch. He fouls that one off. And that's another foul ball. Well, with the way we keep track of pitch counts right now, you know 0-2, the pitcher wants to put him away. The fact that he has to throw another pitch just tells you how defensive a swing the hitter had to keep it going. Strike three. Eric Chavez looking at one go by. It's the best pitch in baseball. The fastball down and away. If you can master that, you can be successful. He's successful. There's a runner on for Mark Ellis. He's gone two for seven lifetime off Bobby Jenks. Here's the pitch. Head on the ground. This could be the end of this ball game. And on to first for out number three. And that's going to do it. A good all-around effort, Gary, by the White Sox today. Allows them to get the win. They've got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. Now we'll look back at our Pepsi Clutch performer. Yeah, I mean, this guy came out and made this team look like world beaters today. Couple of hits, and he went big fly. All in all, it adds up to a nice day's work, and they come away on top. And you don't often get the bats going on the road quite like this. Pretty good offensive attack. Well, when you're on the road, to have this kind of offense, it takes the hometown crowd out of the game and really helps your chances. So glad you could join us. For Steve Phillips and John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. We'll see you real soon.